So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video. And today guys, I bring you an all in one place where you can see all of the new encounters uh, added into the game with the 1.6 patch. I believe those six in total. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so there are six new encounters that have been added into the game with the latest 1.6 update and today I will showcase them all to you just in case you missed any one of them. So the first one we have is Adam Finley who can be located within the Pacifica Coast View area. He is located at the end of this platform and can be seen being sick. He then decides to end his misery and throws himself in the water. His body can also be looted. You can get a chunk of cash from this dude, but you can also read more into what's going on here via a transcript on his body. Next up guys we have Arabella. This one is located within the city centre Corpo Plaza area within the Reconciliation Park. This one is a little weird, but I do believe this character to be an easter egg reference from the world of Nat 19, with this little girl being in reference to Arabella Lavasha. Now this little girl can be seen doing a few things, but one of the strangest things here is guys, she actually follows you around this park as soon as you move away from her. Now there's probably more to this, but at the moment we have no idea what you gotta do to trigger anything. We know she has a green marker that's on the map. Again, like I said, she follows you around the park. She sometimes speaks to you, she sometimes shouts at you, she sometimes tells you that she's watching you. So yeah, it is a weird one.
Okay, so the third new encounter is located within the Haywood Ross Rooms area and it is a beach party. Go check this out guys, I do believe it's an evening time event only, but I could be incorrect there. The fourth one is located within the Santo Domingo area where you will witness a convict try and escape custody. An officer chases him for a few minutes and then this ends with a brawl with the convict losing. Now if you block the police officer in so he can't chase the convict, eventually the convict will make his way back to the petrol station across from where he escaped and spend the rest of his time dancing away. Get close to him though and he will attack you like he seemingly does if you try and kill the copper when chasing him on foot. Weird. Okay, so the fifth new encounter is in the Watson Northside area. This one is pretty funny. I won't play the audio, but let's just say this officer can be seen or heard watching those adult movies proven by the audio you will hear in game near his car. Now his car is empty, there's no one else in here. He also warns you away if you get too close, it is pretty hilarious. Check it out. And the sixth one guys is Ryan Baxter. Now Ryan can be found within the Badlands near his broken down car. When you get close to him though he will attack you. If you kill him he does have a decent chunk of money on him. Now to actually have Ryan appear here you first have to complete the first of three races for Claire Russell which takes place within the Badlands area. The mission is called The Beast in Me Badlands. This is race one of three you will have to do for her. And I think you first see or interact with Claire Russell within the Afterlife Club real early on in the game. Now once this race is completed, 
Ryan Baxter will appear here for you. And there we have it guys, 6 new encounters added with the 1.6 update to Cyberpunk 2077. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.